One time after church, I asked a child, what'd you learn in church today? He said, I'm Batman and I have money in my pocket. Maybe I should have played a review game. Hi, I'm Seth Beeson and this is Sunday School Solutions. A review game is a type of game specifically designed to be a fun way to see how much the children learn from your lesson that day. It's like a quiz except way more fun. And they don't even know they're still learning things while they play. Anyways, here's some ideas for a review game. Have questions prepared ahead of time. Don't start the game and then realize you don't know what questions to ask. Have a game prepared. Here are some kid approved and teacher friendly games. Beanbag toss. All you need are a couple beanbags and some masking tape. Tape three lines on the floor and assign each section a point value. Kids love points, so the higher, the better. You could do 1,000, 2,000, and 3,000. Have the children stand behind another line and when they answer a question correctly, they get to toss the beanbags and score big points. A variation of this would be to set up plastic cups in a tower and give points for however many cups they can knock down. Teacher dress up. Gather all kinds of dress up items. Sunglasses, hats, a tie, coat, shirt, belt, fun shoes, put them in a box, and when a child gets an answer right, they can come up and put one of the items on the teacher. The goal is to get the teacher all dressed up. The crazier the outfit, the better. All the children can be on one big team for this and see how crazy they can get the teacher to look. Theme games. You can make a game that goes along with the theme of the lesson. This giant steps game can go with the story of David and Goliath or it can be varied for other Bible stories. This game can be played in teams or in one large group. Set a start and finish line at the front of the room. When a child correctly answers a question, have him come to the starting line, then take the biggest step possible toward the finish line. Have him freeze in place until another child from his team answers a question and comes to take his place. Have the next child start where the previous child was standing and take a giant step toward the finish line. Continue playing in this way until a child crosses the finish line. To switch it up, make a card that says giant step on one side and little step on the other. When a child correctly answers a question, let him toss the card in the air and whichever side lands facing up indicates how big of a step the child can take. The team that makes it the furthest wins. The sky is the limit for review games. For more details and ideas, check out our blog. If you found this information helpful, there's more where that came from. Visit cefonline.com slash sundayschool.